everybody. This is Kristen from Christopia Studios. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It is a beautiful autumn day. So in here where I live on the middle eastern coast of the United States, um, I will have to ask you to excuse me for any traffic you might hear. I have every window in this house open, including my studio window. So, and it's a busy time of day right now on the road out front. So my apologies if you happen to hear motorcycles or trucks or whatever. I am going to do something I have recently been watching Olga Sobi do on um, her Smart Art Materials channel. If you haven't checked that out, go for it, do it. You probably have because she has a ton of subscribers and it, they are well deserved. So I'm trying to make sure that these stay um, level. They seem to be a little wonky. It's not terribly level, but I'm gonna blow out. It's level enough for my purposes today. I'm gonna be using my dryer and blowing out some stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm very much into painting autumn colors right now because that's the season we're in and I'm enjoying it thoroughly. So today I'm going to do a diptych and a funnel bottom pour that I learned from Olga Sobi and I'm going to try a couple different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use for my base this golden aurelian yellow in one side of the diptych and then this burnt sienna on another side and I'll probably make them kind of opposite. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is, and I'm not making them even. I like when things have curves. I have a few, <laughs> I like it. I like it when my paintings have curves too, I guess. I'm not big on straight lines, so. Spread that out with my little cake decorator spreader. These colors, these base colors, do not have silicone in them. Um, but my other colors already have silicone in them from another project and I'm going to be using the same colors because I don't like to waste and I don't like my colors to sit around and get all claggy. So there will be silicone in this funnel, traveling funnel pour. As Olga has mentioned on her traveling funnel pours, one of the things that helps to mix the paint and get her the cells she wants without silicone is the funnel. However, as I said, my only difference will be that there's already a little silicone. I, I use only OGX hair serum. It's got dimethicone in it, which is a safer silicone for me to breathe and frankly, probably for anybody to breathe. Um, and I don't use anything else. So I'm gonna clean this off, my little cake decorator, and it doesn't matter that a little bit of it landed there. I'll wipe it off. I like to clean as I go, because if I don't, I'll forget something and then it will be ruined. You get off there. All right, now. This is a gold, golden product. It's just Aurelian Hue Yellow mixed with a little Floetrol. And that's going to be my other side. I hope these turn out 
I'm not sure whether they will or not, simply because I've not used these colors in combination together as a base ever. <laughs> but I like them. I noticed that some other people have been doing a lot of pinks and grays in these two-tone things, but I'm just not in a pink and gray mood these days, I guess. I'm in a cooler weather, I love the fall mood. So I'm going to spread this out. Probably don't have enough of that on there. too much. Very interesting. There was a smear on this of green on the canvas and it's showing through my Berlian hue. I thought this hue would be a little bit more opaque. need too much fiddling in there because colors are going to go in there by way of my funnel. Just getting a little bit of the color on the side so I don't have to touch up too much. You can always touch up in the end. I know that corner is going to bother somebody if I don't cover it. <laughs> well, tell me some of you don't have some of those OCD sort of issues. I know I do. My husband was watching a poor video with me earlier today and she had left the, co co the corners untouched with paint and he was just like, paint the corners, paint the corners. I was like, sweetie, it's, it's okay. The corners will get covered. But <laughs> it was kind of amusing. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my colors. Most of my colors are going to be definitely in the nature realm. Um, I don't know about you, but around here, we actually do see the color magenta often in our fall colors. Our trees change color. I'm not going to use the yellow because obviously that's... Um, on the bottom and I'm not probably I might use a little bit of this orange uh, even though it's it's pretty close to the sienna color and I don't want to get them too confused but what I am going to do is put my finger over that funnel a little bit of that orange that's close to the sienna color and I'm gonna go with some pearlescent white Something about this pearlescent white does something to the colors to just make them more ethereal looking. It's not a brand, it's just pearlescent, pearl metallic white paint. It's just got this opal quality that's just gorgeous. And then I put a little red. Now I'm gonna go with some bronze. Pour that right in there. And usually I don't mix silver and bronze. Well, I'm not going to put them right next to each other. I'm going to go with this. Let's go green. I'm going to go with this green next to the bronze because they'll work well together if they happen to mix. And then I am going to put a tiny bit of yellow in, even though that's part of my base. And then this magenta. think I may have enough. Now, I am certifiably terrible at doing flip cups or flip and drags or anything of that nature, 
So doing a funnel drag is probably, I'm probably going to suck just as badly with this, but we'll see, right? All right, so. See already. Why is all that on? There's some more color. I just lost a whole funnel full of color between these. So let's refill. <laughs> I'm scared. Since I have so much paint in this funnel, I don't want to waste it. I'm going to bring it up. trusty little bucket of water for now. I never rinse these things down a kitchen drain. Acrylic paint is bad for your pipes. So it turns to plastic as it cools, as it dries, and it will um, turn to plastic in your drains and you have not had a plumbing problem until you have had acrylic paint build up in a pipe somewhere and you don't know where that is and have to replace your entire plumbing system. So be aware. I take everything outside, even in dead of winter, and I hose it off or I rinse it in a bucket and dump the bucket out later. So I'm going to torch this. It's sitting quite nicely, looking pretty. is not going to look anything like Olga's beautiful swirly patterns, but we don't want it to, right? We want to take somebody else's techniques and ideas and, and give them credit for them, but put our own spin on things. I've got my dryer on a cool setting. One thing I kind of forgot is it looks like I need a touch more. Can you see it over here? Over here. And there's a yellow. Oop, take the lid off. I probably will also mute this so you don't have to listen to it blow. Well, 
I'm not sure how that's going to dry. It might be a little muddy, but I do really like the color play. It does look like that blow drying process might muddy it up a little, but I'm going to switch to my little tiny blower. I'm not really digging this bit right here. It's just kind of a muddy, turned into kind of a muddy lavender. So I might just put a tiny touch of that magenta and orange here. I can't. Let me blow it, and stop. Okay. I'm not really, I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow there and repair that a little bit. Use my dryer to blow that. I really love the colors. This is that did there's too much color on the canvas. I'm gonna have some really awesome skins when this dries, however. So that'll be fun. Um I'm not too super thrilled with some of this, but um I am very thrilled with much of it, so hopefully it will dry with the good parts. I'm going to pause you and take you down for a closer look. Okay, well, these are they. Not quite a diptych. I do like the colors. I'm not really a fan of that muddy purpley thing, but I do love the brightness of the green and the magenta. Little pops of yellow and red. And here's the other one. So they do look good. I really like this in here. I just am not sure how they're going to dry. But at the very least, if they don't dry pretty all on their own, I've got a really good basis for an explosive garden scene, right? So, or something else. You never know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button below for more videos and the thumbs up button and please hit the bell on the side if you want notified of my videos and hit the subscribe to subscribe to my channel i hope you'll come back and i hope you enjoyed have a great day and a safe day oh and by the way down in the links sorry in the description is my um is my facebook website my regular website kedouglas.com if you want to look at some of my other work and um a little paypal tip jar if you feel so inclined Anyway, I hope you have a great and safe day. So these are the dried results. And I think they'll be really good. It's not as muddy as I thought it would dry. Not too bad at all. And it's honestly kind of turning out to look like a profusion of fall bushes and trees and stuff. So I'm probably going to embellish it a little and turn it into something like that. Anyway, 
just giving you a little extra clip at the end. Have a great day.